Now we're going to move on to the presentation with the Century 7035, and I have Mr. William Drain here that's going to join it. We're going to kind of tag team this unit that's been in our product line just short of 20 years. As a matter of fact, we introduced this product new at the Florida Trade Show in, in 2001. So uh, here we are some 19 years later with the most latest and greatest updates to the machine. We're going to talk about it. You know, some of you might not know that Miller is the largest buyer of cabs and chassis on a regular basis in the world. We work very hard with our Peccar family in, in the, both the Kenworth and the Peterbilt to really put some performance factors into these cabs and chassis that really help the tower. One of the things we did about two or three years ago was not only the 389, but the 567 is we went from an 1124.5 to a 1222.5 tire and rim and a two and a quarter by nine inch rim up on there with a wider outset. Now what this allowed us to do was to pick up about 11 feet turning to the left and nine turning to the right. That was a huge improvement with this Peterbilt product line as far as maneuverability in the set forward configuration, which is what you see this 567. We've got the 36 inch sleeper, which has been with us a long time, the walk-in unibuilt window in the back. So that sleeper gives you that means of looking out the rear of the, that window and being able to see what's off to your left uh, or your right as you're backing up to a situation. Fuel's a big deal for us, maximizing the capacity amount of fuel. Cosmetic appearance, Billy can show you a little about what we do with the battery box up there, how we go and we put that fit and finish to the battery box. Also how we put the fit and finish to the air tanks with them being polished out, the stainless up on the def tank wrapper, along with your aluminum tank. So that dual exhaust feature, all of these things that you see going away from the standard over the road tractor, we at Miller work very hard with both the Pete and the Kenworth line on putting those bling things back into the unit. Let's open up the cab here and see what we got inside, tell you a little bit about some of our standard features and benefits in the heavy duty product line. Uh, some things that you may already know that we do, some things that you, you may not be familiar with. Uh, one of the first things you'll see when you open the door here uh, is we have our wireless control system. Uh, the 7035 comes standard with the wireless control for the underlift. Uh, it's also upgradable on the 5130 models to control the winches will come standard on the 7035 to give you that wireless control of your winch functions. This is a neat little controller here, uh, runs off of a rechargeable battery. You see that cradle there inside of the, uh, of the cab where we'll set this in. It's magnetic as well, so you can stick that on the tailboard of the wrecker, uh, let's say, or the side of the underlift. Uh, when you're down there, I see a lot of operators in the field, they'll put it in their pocket and they actually uh, get so used to it they know right which button to press. So because it charges in that cradle inside of the cab, it's easily accessible for the operator. You can just reach down there, uh, be able to grab that wireless controller, and be able to use it as an MCAB controls as well. Another thing you'll notice is our, our MMO touchscreen control system. So also standard on the 7035, that touchscreen control uh, will allow you to control all the functions of the, the electrical functions of the wrecker itself. So it'll give you a touch screen switch panel, it'll give you engine diagnostics, uh, give you a job timer. There's just many different features that go into that. Uh, so there's two of those screens, one at, in the cab here and then one at the driver's side control station. The other thing you'll notice is the monitor for our dual reverse camera. Uh, we touched a little bit on that earlier in one of the earlier series on the 4024, uh, having that dual flush mount. Uh, reverse camera at the tailboard of the wrecker. The monitor up here is uh, easily visible to the operator and then we can change the views from that so it'll give you one view down uh, the center line of the crossbar and then it'll give you one off to the side when your underlift is folded up. You also notice uh, the keyless entry key fobs here. So for both the cab and for the toolboxes will be located in the, uh, in the cab so we have wireless remote access for the toolboxes. So now we're going to come back here and talk a little bit about the recovery unit itself. As I mentioned, the 7035 came on board in 2001. We used a lot of the components from the Rotator 1040, 130 inches of hydraulic extension that we use today in the 1135 is inside this recovery boom. When that boom is fully extended, as you see right now, it has a capacity at 30 degrees of 22,000 pounds or 11 tons. One of the other things that we worked throughout the whole product line when we were developing our integrated was to get the underlift from interfering with the extension of the recovery boom. 
So in all of the street versions in the Century product line, is that recovery boom is extending out when it's in the negative tilt situation, you have clearance for that recovery boom to come clear of the crossbar and not interfere. Very important on that when you're trying to stuff something into a, that recovery boom inside a trailer, you're not losing any reach. Another thing I want you to see is when you cut to the side is how that underlift is totally flush with the tailboard. Again, through the 4024, 5130, 7035, 9055, we give you that feature. You have dual 35,000 pound winches up on here with 200 feet of three quarter inch cable. You have the ability, we talked about the diagonal jacks. We're going to show you a little bit of that feature and how it's been updated with this particular model over the 4024, 5130. But I also want to say one thing. This is our third number one selling heavy duty wrecker. 5130 is number one. The 1150 rotator is number two. The 7035 is number three. One of the reasons for that is, is excellent front axle weight and then good recovery capabilities with this boom. This unit replaced the 5030, where people wanted more height for able to do on stacking of two trailers on a, on a low boy coming up. More boom height, more hook height, more extension, more power in the extension to get into that recovery capabilities. But also, we have some 13,000 pounds of front axle weight with no form of counterweight. Just in the way that we lay out the cab and chassis, we're getting that front axle weight both in the Kenworth product line and in the Peterbilt product line with this 7035, weighing anywhere between 22 to 23,000 pounds on the drives. Depending upon if you have extendable rear jack legs, a coach low rider over a street, and we'll talk a little bit about that. We mentioned the toolboxes in the 4024. We're not going to be redundant here. The nice thing about this 180 body right here with tandem is we get another box here on the side, which gives you, again, that diversification of moving your uh, equipment around to the way that you want it. So as John was saying, in this 180 tandem configuration, we get four upright doors. So that gives us that versatility to add some extra options and accessories that you may want as an owner and operator. The first one we talk about here uh, is the Mat Jack kit. Uh, we partnered with the Mat Jack company uh, just about three years ago uh, and developed a kit specific for uh, a majority of the users. It's, a, it's kind of a starter kit that'll get you going uh, in the Mat Jack high pressure system. It comes with the two bags, comes with the Y hose and the two individual hoses. Also has the two different, uh, the two separate regulators along with it that come in that kit. So uh, when you're trying to get that strap or that chain underneath that uh, casualty that may be in the ditch or turned over on its side, this Mat Jack starter kit's a great option that you can go and be able to pull that, that thing up to get to uh, uh, get your recovery straps in it. The next thing I uh, want to talk about is the Tomate light bar. Uh, we partnered with Tomate to, to do a light bar uh, with all of the incident management features that you guys were looking for and talking to us about. Uh, so it gives you those red and blue capabilities, uh, gives you a work light feature, has a removable rechargeable battery uh, that charges here at the, uh, at the control station. So just another nice feature that can go along and complement any of our heavy duty product lines. So now that we're over on the passenger side of the truck, let's talk about a few more options and accessories that we offer. We went with a ProTech box a few years ago. We partnered with them to design a box uh, that was user friendly, spring loaded latch at each one of the drawers, the removable storage tray at the top of the toolbox. You'll also notice above the seven drawer box we have our, our Eaton inverter. Uh, it's an 1100 watt inverter uh, that we've developed specifically for our use. Uh, one of the great features about this is there's two different leads for the electrical system. So you can bring, uh, as you see in the passenger side there, uh, on that fold down door, you can bring one of the leads uh, to that area and then you can choose what you want to do uh, with the other one. In this truck, we've put the, uh, the second lead up into the cab of the truck so that can be used to, to charge your iPads or your uh, navigation systems or anything of that nature. And another thing with the inverter, it gives you the ability to charge your truck batteries. So when you bring it into the shop, you're able to plug the uh, inverter plug in and then it'll back feed and charge your batteries while you have it stored. 
for over 10 years now, we've had a standard kit that just about goes with every heavy unit, but we have constantly worked to improve that kit. Now today, it's fully full alloy chains, 810s, whether the 5 16ths, the 3 8 or the half inch. Another thing that we've been doing along with that storage feature is bringing along the Crosby product line with the new Evolution block. For about 10 years, we ran the standard Crosby alloy box, which were substantially lighter than the competition. But we've teamed up with Crosby and worked to create the Evolution block, which is exclusive to us. So here we are with a 12-ton block where this would normally weigh in the 50, 60 pound range and even heavier probably in an offshore 12-ton uh, block. We're down in that 31 pound range complete. Nice size hook to handle the capacities. Reducing that weight allows you the ability to be able to reach this up on the side of a trailer, hand it off to your partner that's up top with a lot less strain. Another thing that we've worked on is the air kit. And the air kits have changed a lot in the last two years because of the fact of what we call the military fitting. The contamination that was capable of getting into a standard fitting uh, for the airline has been changed pretty dramatically. And you see it in, in the product line now is where you don't have anything that can get caught. We give you those two that are being offered now, both in the pack car, the Freightliner, the Navistar, and the, the Volvo product line. So you have the means of hooking directly to the air compressor and charging up the, the uh, cabin chassis when going down the road, sometimes even increasing or decreasing the amount of time that you have in, as far as hookup and having those special attachments that plumb into the air tanks. So let's talk a little bit about the underlifts that you see available in the 7035 and the 9055. Street really represents that shorter version, that point that doesn't interfere with the recovery boom on the integrated, yet it gives you that low profile. There is no underlift in the industry that offers what we do with the street low rider. So you have only about nine inches from the floor to the roof. And if you notice, the surface is totally flat so that when the underlift is going underneath the unit, whether it's a radiator, a course of sport, a shackle, uh, some part of the suspension or whatever, you have clean surfaces, nothing to catch on it, and all the way from pivot point to where your crossbar is, is true 128 inches of reach. The nice part about all of our underlifts in this particular product line also is you lubricate it when it's fully extended. So right now is when you would want to take your lubrication points and lubricate that, that way taking that lubrication all the way out there to the end of the outer housing and allowing the grease to break it down so you can move something in and out. All of the underlifts up on here carry the big thrust washers and, and uh, the brass bushings that come with our offset fork holders and our heavy duty crossbars. And that allows you to have that capacity to up some of the tire lifts to get up to some 25,000 pounds and that crossbar still be able to handle that kind of capacity. In closing, we want to talk about one thing, very important thing, we mentioned it briefly with the 4024, is the diagonal jacks that you see on the 4024, the 51, 5230, 7035, and 9055. The stability of having the jack stabilizes this unit a lot from left to right pull as to having the jacks just straight down, allowing the, the truck to lean a lot quicker when you're pulling from the side with that cable. Remember, we offer the extendable hydraulic leg in both the 4024, the 5130, 5230, 7035, and 9055. Here you have the standard flipper foot with the spade and the D-ring, but with the very inexpensive extension on here, which gives you another 14 to 16 inches of reach to the outside to keep that truck from tipping when you're pulling to the side. And if you notice over on this side here, we've got the spade folded down into the spade configuration so that it digs into the soil to hold it. So whether towing, whether recovery, whether looking at how the 7035 matches up with the cabin chassis, whether Peterbilt or Kenworth, phenomenal front axle weight, very light on the drive axles in that 35 ton capacity. I want to thank Billy for uh, helping we me with this presentation. We look forward to be able to show you some more things that we have coming up in our uh, video shows that we're doing for you. Miller Industries.
the world leader in towing and recovery equipment. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.